this document is, is quite remarkable and surprising for a number of reasons. It's um, six years since the end of the war in Sri Lanka in which tens of thousands of people died, were massacred, mostly killed by government shelling, although the Tamil Tigers also uh, committed war crimes. Um, the United Nations Human Rights Council eventually decided uh, 18 months ago to launch an independent international inquiry into those crimes and that report is, is due to be heard at the September meeting of the Human Rights Council uh, just coming up. There is huge anticipation uh, uh, about what will be in that report. For the victims uh, and the survivors it represents uh, the best hope of any kind of real change and move towards justice and progress. Um, uh, the expectations of what will come out of that are very different. The Sri Lankan government uh, very much hope that the Human Rights Council will say, fine, now you need to launch a domestic inquiry, this is quite serious. Uh, the victims uh, and the survivors are absolutely insistent that they need an international inquiry. They regard the government investigating these crimes as effectively a, a victor's court uh, and, and not being any kind of judicial process which would have the, the, the trust and the confidence of the victims. Um, that debate will be coming up at the Human Rights Council, which is what makes this document so surprising, because this document is an internal document, which we've obtained, prepared apparently by the UN in conjunction with the Sri Lankan government, which envisages a purely domestic uh, judicial process um, uh, with UN technical assistance, um, precisely the kind of process which has been so clearly rejected uh, and, and is regarded with such suspicion by, by Tamils and by the victims and by many human rights organisations. Uh, what is even more curious is that the, the document, um, which has a number of proposals, describes itself uh, uh, as having implementing partners, of which the main is the government of Sri Lanka and, and the second is the Northern Provincial Council. Uh, now, the Northern Provincial Council is the main Tamil representative body in the north. And uh, although this describes them as an implementing partner, um, the uh, Chief uh, Minister of the Northern Provincial Council um, has actually told us that he completely rejects this document, that they don't want anything to do with it, um, and has described it as, as a betrayal of the hopes of the Tamil and accused it of preempting the United Nations uh, uh, investigation report and the next meeting of the, um, of the Human Rights Council. Um, so this is a very curious document, it's extremely surprising, and it leaves the UN, or at least the people from the UN involved in this, uh, looking as though, um, or certainly open to the accusation that they've been working behind the scenes to set up a, a, a domestic process in, in, in cooperation with the Sri Lankan government, uh, and, and despite the fact that they know that the victims and, and most Tamil organizations uh, hold that as being nothing other than a victor's court and, and nothing other than, than a betrayal of, of, of their hopes for justice.